Hey everyone, welcome to the video. So it's December 31st, 2021. Um, it's about midday here in Tasmania and I've just gone through and added up all the money I've spent in the last 12 months while living in my van and traveling around Australia. So I thought I'd share it with you what my expenses were. I was a bit surprised by some of them and I hope to reduce some of them this year. So here we go. So the first, I've got made some notes. So the first thing is food. So I spent $6,000 this year on food, which comes to an average of about 115 a week. And it was quite expensive buying food out in the wheat belt in Western Australia. You're very limited there. You've only got the small IGAs and fresh fruit and vegetables were very expensive, especially in the summer months. Uh, supplements, so I take a lot of vitamins, that kind of thing, fish oil tablets, the dog takes them as well. That came to 735 for the year and that was $14 a week. I also take protein powder, just a plant-based one because I don't eat any meat and I believe in the benefits of protein, I do work out. So my protein powder came to 685 for the year and that's $13 a week. Now I have a category that's called spending. <laughs> so that is everything that doesn't fall into any other category. And that includes things like the ferry ride over to Tasmania. That was $420 alone. Um, I've taken up art since I've been living in the van, so I had to buy all my art supplies, all the butane I buy for my camping stove, any phone accessories that I needed. I had to buy a new pillow because I left my other one on the ferry on the way over to Tasmania any clothes that I buy, uh, my journals, and basically just stuff. So this was $2,758, which was an average of $53 a week. So I'm really gonna work on getting that down this year. Uh, the next one is shower, laundry, and power. So that's when I pay for a shower. I've either gone to a caravan park and just paid for a shower, or you get coin-operated showers, or there is a place in Walpole where I could make a donation and plug into power there at their little kitchen. Um, so that came to $220 for the year, an average of $4 a week. Next we have accommodation. So that is when I've stayed in caravan parks and I've also included my cabin on the way over on the ferry. So sometimes I feel like having luxury, which is a caravan park to me, I plug into power and I have hot showers, I can use their kitchen. Um, that came to $1,642, which was an average of $32 a week. The next one is storage units. So I still have some items and when I first started out, I had more items, I now have less. I have since downsized the storage unit so this expense will be a lot less this year and that came to $1154 and it was an average of $22 a week. The next one telephone and internet so I actually got a brand new iPhone in January which I am paying off on my plan and I also my phone hotspot is my internet that I use to work so that came to $1850 a year, 50 a year and uh, $35 a week and that is a business expense because I need it to work. Next one is petrol if you're in North America or other countries you call it gas. Um, petrol was $4,735 and that came to $91 a week. So that's my second highest expense after food. But I did travel 27,833 kilometers this year. So it's not too bad. Um, and petrol is more expensive in some places than others as well. So it'll be interesting to see how that comes out this year. Van registration, so I actually pay my registration quarterly. That came to $856 for the year and $17 a week. My van insurance is $930 a year and that works out at $18 a week. Van maintenance, this was high, $2,150, but that includes, I've put four brand new tires on in September. I've replaced a bowl joint. Um, I've had a breakdown. I've had to replace the distributor cap and the ignition leads. And that's also for just my regular services throughout the year. That comes to about $40 a week. Next one is roadside assistance. This is very well used by me. That was $335 a year, only $7 a week, and I have used that multiple times. I think I'll make a separate video on all the times I've broken down and had to use the RAC. I've got my money's worth, and I think I've just about ran the full gamut. The only thing I haven't done is run out of petrol. Touch wood, that doesn't happen. But yeah, I might make another video on that because it's quite entertaining. Next one is, I have a post office box. so. 
one of the things when you're on the road is you need somewhere to go get mail and I've had this post office box forever it was my business one so I just kept it and mum thanks mum mum checks it regularly for me and lets me know if I've got any mail that's $141 for the year and it works out $3 a week uh, I make regular donations so every month I make a donation to World Wildlife Fund and that's $20 um, a month so that works out $240 for the year and $5 a week so I have private health insurance and that plus my out-of-pocket costs for all my health was $550 for the year and $11 a week. Now I've included the dog in here. She's expensive, <laughs> but she's worth it. So the dog, including her food, vet bills, out-of-pocket vet bills, because I have insurance, I'll get to that. She got a new bed this year, that was $75, harnesses, Anything like that, I have to buy, um, you know, heartworm, flea control, all the expenses for the dog. That came to $1,227 or $24 a week. And then she also had, I have insurance on the dog as well. Now, I also have reduced that. So that will, should be a lot less this year. It should be half this year. Um, that was $1,532 for the year and $30 for the week. So the grand total, drum roll please, for the year was $27,740, which was an average of $534 a week. So while I don't pay rent, it definitely still isn't cheap to live on the road, especially when you're traveling around, like the driving, obviously the petrol was a lot. Um, so yeah, it's not really cheap. It's cheaper than paying rent, but to me it's more about a lifestyle choice. It's about where I'm living for free, um, so yeah. Anyway, that's my budget for the last 12 months. I am going to probably keep doing this every three months. I'll do another one and update what my costs, current costs are and see if I can cut down on the things I want to cut down on. And things like food and petrol, interesting to see how that goes with different areas that I'm in. So I'll be in Tasmania for the next three months. So petrol here is very expensive. So we'll see how that goes. And any other videos you guys would like to see from me, uh, please just leave a comment below. And if you'd like to see my follow up in three months if you subscribe then YouTube will let you know when I posted the next video and I just want to say thanks for watching um, love making these videos love sharing my life with everybody and yeah I look forward to doing a lot more videos in 2022 I have committed to do two videos a week for you so yeah if you want to see them just hit subscribe all right guys I just want to wish everyone a happy new year be safe and yeah I just hope everyone's having a great life love you bye